Hello everyone, welcome to the class. Uh, in this class, we are again going to focus on vocabulary and uh, today we are going to focus on the words and phrases related with law, related to law. Okay, so uh, let's look at the first uh, phrase, first uh, collocation, to bend the law or rules. Okay, to bend the law or rules. It means to break the law or rules in a way that is considered not to be very harmful. Okay, so bend the law or bend the rules. So you uh, break the law or rules, but in a way that is considered not to be very harmful. Okay, so if somebody has uh, broken the law and uh, it's not that harmful, it's not considered that harmful, we can say that he or she bent the law, bent the law or rules. Okay. Next phrase is to contravene a law. Okay. So to contravene a law, it means to break a law. Okay. To break a law. And it's now is contravention. So if somebody breaks the law and uh, using the low frequency words, using a uh, proper words you can say that uh, somebody contravened the law okay or contravened a law okay so next phrase is to infringe infringe a law or rule okay to infringe a law it means that to break a law or rule okay it is almost the same to contravene or to infringe a law okay so the noun would be infringement okay next word related with law is to impeach a president or governor okay so any official uh, person who's in the government uh, they mostly are impeached okay if they okay if they are found guilty or something like this okay so it means to make a formal statement saying that a person in public office is committed a serious offense okay so noun would be impeachment in the history of united states some presidents have been impeached okay so uh, the proper word for this is to impeach a president okay next word to lodge an appeal Sekira, would you participate and read some words and their meaning yes okay i'm reading it for you to lodge an appeal meaning to make an official request that a previous judgment should be changed okay so for example now uh recently in our politics shabazz sharif was given uh, you know a clean uh jit for uh, going abroad right but then uh an appeal was lodged by PTI to put his name in ECL. Okay, so meaning what the uh, Imran Khan's government did, they lodged an appeal in the Supreme Court. Okay, so if somebody lodges an appeal, it means that to make an official request that a previous judgment should be changed. Okay, so the proper wording is lodge an appeal okay now another word or phrase to pervert the course of justice now here in british english this r that you have here it would be silent so in british english you would just read pervert okay to pervert in british english r is mostly uh, not pronounced in uh, such kind of words so in to pervert but in american english you would pronounce this r to pervert okay to pervert the course of justice now what does this mean it means to make it difficult for justice to be done okay so to make it difficult for justice to be done and its noun is perversion okay okay ne next next word is to quash a conviction quash not quash Quash, okay, quash to quash a conviction. Now, what does that mean? 
to change a previous official decision that some uh, someone was guilty to quash a conviction okay if any judge quashes a conviction it means that he changes a previous official decision that somebody was guilty okay so our next word is to set a precedent it means to establish a decision okay to establish a decision which must usually in english law be taken into account in future decisions now it's particularly uh, uh, here it's uh, giving uh, giving us information about english law okay meaning british law okay english here is referring to british law so in british law to establish a decision which must usually be taken into account in future decisions okay so that uh, kind of situation we say to set a precedent okay another to award or grant custody to now this phrase related to law it means to give one parent or adult the main responsibility for a child especially after separation or divorce now it's common in uh, many countries divorce is common okay so uh, when uh, any couple is separating and they have children okay so uh, the children uh, the child is given to either the mother or the father then we would say that the judge awarded custody to the father the judge awarded the custody of the child to the father or to mother okay so to grant custody to or to award custody to meaning to give one parent or adult the main responsibility for a child especially after separation okay next one mustaja would you like to read the way i'm reading okay let me continue okay to annul an agreement or a marriage or a law okay so to annul an agreement a marriage or a law what does it mean it means to declare that it no longer exists and never existed okay so to annul an agreement or marriage or law to declare that it no longer exists and never existed okay noun would be annulment now in the word to sue someone it's very common word okay it's a very common word now what does that mean let me see somebody has sent a message in chat let's see what is the message I can't access the chat. I don't know why. Okay. Okay, so you know you are asking for the code. Ah, uh, Mustafa, would you like to share the code uh, with Sakina? She is saying, sir, can you please share this here link? I have accidentally enrolled, and now the codes are not working. I don't know whether she needs uh, the link of uh, Zoom or the link of her uh, Google Classroom. Okay, so I would share uh, with you uh, the code of GCA. Mr. Job, you can do that as well after the class. Okay, so uh, to sue someone, it means to take legal action against someone. Okay, meaning you take a legal action to you go to the court, you uh, just lodge an appeal. Okay, you just uh, file uh, any uh, say okay investigation or something uh, about them. So to sue someone, meaning to take legal action against someone. Okay, another word that we have to allege. Okay, 
to allege meaning to say that someone has done something illegal without giving proof okay so the noun would be allegation okay last word in that category is to amend amend a law it's very common word we uh, mostly hear uh, this word in the news it means to make changes to a law in the parliament many amendments you have uh, you know uh, seen uh, they make amendments to the law okay meaning they change the law okay so now would be amendment and the verb is amend okay now let's look at some uh, phrases uh, some words related with crimes okay so for the first word discrimination now it's very common word so it means unfair treatment on grounds of sex race or nationality people discriminate okay on different grounds so the verb is discriminate and uh, it mostly takes the uh, uh, collo it collocates with against discriminate discriminate against okay so other word embezzlement okay to embezzle it's a verb okay embezzler is noun and it's a criminal okay so it means stealing money that belongs to an organization that you work for okay meaning if you work in any organization if you steal money a lot of money okay then that means that you embezzle okay so you become embezzler somebody who steals from any organization where they work if they steal something some money okay a lot of money is mostly so they embezzle okay next and see that trading are dealing it means that illegal buying and selling of shares by someone who has a specialist knowledge of a company okay where would be do our practice incider trading are dealing and it's uh, now incider trader are dealer mr jab did you say something you can also uh, type in the chat box okay next money laundering now you uh, hear this word in the news a lot okay our pm mran khan mostly talks about money laundering okay he uh, accuses other politicians that they are money launderers okay so what is that mean uh, what does that mean moving money obtained illegally so that its origin cannot be traced okay okay mr job i got your message you are not saying anything okay so um uh, money laundering meaning moving money obtained illegally so that its origin cannot be traced now pm imran khan has blamed nawaz sharif that they have uh, you know uh, taken money from pakistan to england okay and they have bought their a lot of property okay and that money legally they have taken from their own country and have uh, moved it to england and some other countries now this is hard to be traced because it's not in pakistan okay so this kind of crime okay is known as money laundering the verb is launder money okay meaning take your money from one uh, your country to another country okay so the criminal would be money launderer okay perjury now lying been under oath okay meaning when you are you have already taken oath okay and you are lying then it's known as perjury commit perjury perjurer okay press pause press pausing go on to someone else's land without permission okay 
So this is another interesting word, and its verb is trespass. Okay, trespasser. Okay, let's look at some other words now. Finally, words and expressions with law. Mr. Jab, would you like to read this? It's very easy. Okay, go on. I have uh, just you know read everything for you today. So let's uh, not make it one-sided class. Mr. Jab, read these phrases and sentences. It's very easy. They are very easy. Yes, please. Mr. Job, would you like to read these words? Okay, yes. Yes, Mr. Job, read them. Okay, let me read myself. Okay, so uh, first word, a law-abiding person. Okay, somebody who is a law-abiding person is someone who always obeys the law. Okay, who never breaks the law. Law-abiding. Okay, a law-breaker is someone who often and deliberately does not obey the law. Deliberately meaning knowingly. Yani mani, haru bharu. Okay, a law-breaker is someone who often, who often and deliberately okay so this is extra information given uh, here so someone who, uh, a lawbreaker is someone who does not obey the law but often and deliberately okay so next if you take the law into your own hands you do something illegal to punish someone because you feel the legal system will not punish that person now it's a uh, very common uh, a phrase you would hear in the news that if somebody takes the law into their own hands it means that they do something legal to punish someone because you feel because they feel the legal system meaning the authorities will not punish that person okay so somebody who takes the law into you into their own hands is someone okay who takes the law into their own uh, hands it means that you do something illegal to punish someone because you feel that feel the legal system will not punish that person okay so next one if you lay down the law if you lay down the law meaning you say with great force what you think should happen you say with great force what you think should happen lay down the law Okay. When you say what should be done, what authorities should do, okay, you say it with a great force, then it means that you are laying down the law. Okay. Last one. If someone is a law unto himself or herself, he or she behaves in a way which is independent and not the way in which most other people behave. Okay. It means that uh, mostly other people would obey the law, but that person is not, you know, obeying the law in a way they feel that, you know, it's uh, their choice. Okay. So they, it, we would say he or she is a law unto himself or herself. A law unto himself or herself. He or she behaves in a way which is independent and not the way in which most other people behave okay so these are the words related with law and we have discussed so here we discuss law abiding law breaker take the law into your own hands lay down the law a law unto himself or herself and here we discuss some words with uh, crimes related to crimes discrimination embezzlement harassment Okay, did we uh, skip harassment? Okay, let me read it to you. Harassment meaning putting undue undue pressure on someone. Okay, so example for sexual reasons are to get a date repaid. 
it's a very common word you would uh, uh, you know uh, hear it in the news insider trading dealing money laundering perjury stalking did we uh, skip stalking let's let me read it uh, following someone or giving them unwanted or obsessive attention okay meaning you stalk stalk someone okay so following someone or giving them unwanted or obsessive attention okay trespass and trespassing and then we had uh, these words let me see somebody put something in the chat Okay, Mr. Jab, I'll uh, talk about uh, your mock papers after I have just summarized these words. Okay, so here we discuss the words to bend the law or rules, to contravene a law, to infringe a law or rule, to impeach a president or a governor, to lodge an appeal, to uphold, overturn a verdict. Did we skip that? Okay, so it means that to say that a previous decision in court was correct or incorrect, to uphold or overturn a verdict, to power the course of justice, to quash a conviction, to set a precedent, to award or grant custody to, okay, to annul an agreement, marriage or law, to sue someone, to allege and to amend. Okay, everyone, I hope you learned uh, some interesting words today related to law. Okay, and uh, you would be able to express yourself better on the page and off the page when you are writing and when you are talking, uh, you, uh, you would uh, be able to use these words. You can use these words. Okay, and these are very good words. Okay, that's it for today and we will have an exercise tomorrow based on these words that I would post in GCR. Okay, let me show you the exercise. I would give you this first exercise to fill in the blanks. Okay, so be ready for that as well. Okay, Mr. Job, as far as your uh, mock exams are concerned, I think they will take, uh, they would be held. Okay, so I don't know exactly when, but uh, the school management is preparing to conduct the mock exams soon. Any other questions, Mr. Joe? And another uh, thing, Mr. Job, that uh, most of uh, the students from Matrix C are not attending classes, online classes. So please do take classes, at least Zoom class in a week. You know, it, it's uh, very important for everyone. So at least take Zoom class properly if you are not taking the GCI classes okay so all of the classes are important but mostly uh, because you uh, get a chance to interact with your teachers through zoom okay so uh, i would uh, highly emphasize on taking uh, zoom classes okay that's it for today and we would continue working on vocabulary lessons in upcoming classes thank you and uh, that's it for today i'll see you in another class soon